It must be said at the start that Percival Lowell belonged to a family of wealth, and yet wealth did not mean he had freedom to do what he wanted, or that he could do nothing at all. There were rigid expectations that sons of distinguished families would live up to, demands of conduct, ambitions, and social obligations. Percival's parents had made a dynastic marriage. The union of Augustus Lowell to Catherine Lawrence united the two largest cotton fortunes representing the two largest manufacturing cities in New England. Being a member of such a family had its perks, but also its costs. In any way, not living up to expectations was a complicated thing. Percival Lowell did do the right thing to begin with. He went to Harvard, excelled academically, won prizes, and went to work running a portion of the family's cotton empire. But Lowell was a bit more flamboyant, a bit more of a traveler, a bit more of a bohemian than was ideal. 